said time flies, I certainly knew what they were talking about. It's already <laughs> half past June, and uh, we've got birthdays to celebrate. It is uh, summer solstice, which is the first day of spring, but it's more than that. You know what summer solstice is? Anybody know? Longest day, day, day of the year. And the reason is what? Science here for me. And apparently the earth is tilted on its axis and it's, it's most exposed to the sun in the northern hemisphere on June 21st, which is basically the longest day. And they just plugged in the first day of summer to make that even more meaningful, you know. So this is a big day right here. And Alaska goes the whole time without. Alaska's 24 hours of sun light. Yeah. Well, get sleep. You, you educate Leah, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Good job. Well, not everybody that has a birthday, I know, feels like celebrating. Somebody told me the other day that everything hurts. What doesn't hurt doesn't work. And the back goes out more often than I do. So it's, it's not all funny games here, this Asian thing. But I'm, I'm once again reminded of one of my favorite philosophers. Satchel Page, you <laughs> might have quoted it here before. He was a great pitcher as well as a philosopher. But he took everything a step further with this philosophical approach to age. He said, age is a question of mind over matter. If you don't mind, it don't matter. <laughs> and uh, he also asked what I think is one of the most profound questions I've ever heard anybody ask. He said, how old would you be if you don't know how old you was? How old would you be if you don't know how old you was? Think about that for a moment. Because what it really says is a philosophy of life, which is most people are about as happy as they make up their minds to be. And so uh, how, we, how old we perceive ourselves to be has a lot to do with how happy we are and how we go about life. Now, Satchel Page has some advice for uh, being happy. And so I asked him, I told him, I said, we got five Rotarians celebrating their birthdays in, uh, in June. Unfortunately, four of them aren't here. But we're going to throw some advice on them anyway. Uh, I asked him about Nancy Wood. I told him Nancy, you know, how faithful she was and everything. And the end, of course, June 15th is her birthday. He suggested that Nancy avoid fried meats, which angry up the blood. <laughs> angry up the blood. Now, I figure with Nancy, it must be working because has anybody ever seen Nancy Blue's angry? <laughs> no. So the fried meat thing is she's avoiding it, it's paying off. Tony Hyde, who's here, and we thank you for being here, born on June 17th, Pastor Satchel said to tell you, if your stomach disputes you, lie down and pacify it with cool thoughts. Keep that in mind. <laughs> For Philip Young, who used to be the only Rotarian that had a birthday in June, his satchel's advice was, Philip, keep the juices flowing by jangling around gently as you move. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good advice, right? Rick Phillips, turned the cow in the page yesterday and Satchel Page cautioned him he said Rick avoid running at all times <laughs> and then Tony Bazzini who's our fifth person born in June on the 24th Satchel <coughs> said don't look back because something might be getting done <laughs> well we should all be so wise we should also be happy and I think in memory of Satchel Page and in honor of yourself Tony if you'll stand Tom will lead us in the acapella version of Happy birthday. A serenade for you, Tony. Oh, <laughs> all right. All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.